I just want to go home and read. I know the feeling. Whoa. That's a big bear. That hardly touched it. Feeling so tough now. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my god, that was. I like that. <laughs> I was hoping it I wish we could speak backwards. Oh, what is yes, you do. Yes. Like a J is way and okay. What'd you say? Did it work? <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Ah oh, man, it wore off. Too bad. You made more sense than usual. <laughs> there you go. Who just did I got him? Wow. That's amazing. Maybe archery doesn't completely suck up. Traitor bandit. A man approaches the gate with a hefty just want to go home and read. I know the feeling. Whoa! That's a big bear. That hardly touched it. Feel 
feeling so tough now. Uh oh. God, that was... I like that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay. That didn't help as much as I was hoping it I wish we could speak backwards. Oh, what is... Yes, you should... Yes, <laughs> is way and okay. What'd you say? Did it work? <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Aw, oh, man. It wore off. Too bad. You made more sense than usual. <laughs> Who just did... I got him? Wow. That's amazing. Maybe archery doesn't completely suck up. Traitor Bandit. A man approaches the gate with a hefty backpack, bursting up the seams with blueprints, measuring sticks, and other items. He has all the usual bandit trappings, but is acting in a very unbandit-like fashion. Oi, oi. Might I address whomever is in charge? A master builder is here, and you better listen. He's building a monument of sorts and needs construction materials. So how's about we trade, eh? He is offering fish, and I have a lot of metal. I could use the fish. Ask him if he has something more exciting to trade. No, I want the fish. Much obliged, the self-titled Master Builder shouts. The bandit completes the trade whilst closely guarding by the colonists and takes off with the materials, whistling happily as he goes. What? Yara recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble, if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I am speculating whether, if you went far enough out, or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equals three. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying mass of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you. That'll buff out. It's not a problem. No problem. I like this so far. I like the ones that have the big, long ramps like this. Oh, no way. Oh, no.
He dodged, you son of a... Wow. It's a little harder... Calmly towards an exit. Not perfect, but I'll take it. There is no way, not even in an adventure game, that I'd be able to get all those locks open. That is one huge door. Good evening. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> wow. Uh, sorry. I had my mic out putting onto my speakers. I'm not supposed to monitor that while I'm live. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the Library of Lore. Tonight we're going to be playing some Subnautica. So if you'll pardon the pun, we're going to dive in, which means I do need to get the game running. Uh, where did I put Subnautica? There we go. I'm a pro streamer. Okay. There we go. There we are. Just one moment. Subnautica tends to be fairly quick at loading. Okay. Um... Need to see one thing real quick. Oh, no, that's not the one thing. I don't need that. I need that. Like I said, total pro streamer. Okay, so we are on system this evening. That means you can't hear. There we go. That's better. Rob, how's it going? CD, it's wonderful to see you. What's going on? DC Mitch, how's it going? It's so nice to have all of you here. I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend so far. What? You broke your knee? Oh, might as well broke your knee. That sounds like you didn't technically break your knee, but it sounds painful. Whatever actually happened, Rob, that's not good. <clears throat> okay. Oh, we're here. Why are we here? What were we doing? I know there's a reason we were here. Okay, now, if I remember correctly, um, geez, what were we up to? I know we had built one of these giant rooms in the sub, you know, the, uh, the, the deep base. I know we built one. Wasn't paying attention, went straight into the wall and made a big dent in the wall and it hurt. Oh, that sucks. I've actually done that before, Prob. That, uh, yeah. Many, many years ago, I put my knee through a door, actually, not a wall. So, I know the feeling. Oh, okay, I remember. We were coming back to get samples. So, we needed blood oil, we needed old marble melon, we needed Chinese potato... These are planting supplies so that we can establish proper food at the new base. So let's get back there. And I'm certain that once we're 80% of the way back, I'm going to realize that there was something else I also wanted to do, but that's okay.
wall has a little crack in it now. That's nah, okay. That's actually really easy to fix if you want to. Just a little bit of uh, plaster and some repainting, which would be the real painful part of the job. That's that's easy. That's pretty simple. Oh, you... Blah. Aside from my still struggling with upload speed issues and my Friday appointment getting pushed to Monday because it was never actually finalized by your ISP, aside from that somewhat annoying situation, you're all good? Oh, uh, that really sucks, CD. You have to go the whole weekend without the new internet? Well, once you get those speeds up and running, it's going to be painful until then, but once you do, it'll be worth the wait, trust me. Oh, I was so concerned about establishing a food supply that I completely ignored that I actually need stuff now. Hey, California, it's going good. How are you doing? I hope your day has been fantastic. Good start to the weekend. Hey, Vera Johnson, how's it going? So, I've been contemplating a change to the way that I schedule streams. <clears throat> I mean, not to the actual times. I'm not changing my actual schedule, but just the games that I play. For the better part of the last year or so, I've been doing the sort of, you know, the, the strategy Saturday, Fantastical Friday, Anything Goes Thursday, Retro Sunday... Maker Monday, all that kind of stuff, so that people have an idea of what to expect. Oh, hello. You're being very loud. Um, I'm thinking of making a change to that, though. I actually kind of want to keep doing it, because it seems to have been reasonably good for the stream. But it does make finishing games difficult, because I typically only get to play each one once or maybe twice in a week which makes it hard to focus on one, which is, you know, I'm a variety streamer, so that's maybe not the worst thing, but I like finishing games too, and so I'm thinking I'm going to give myself some more latitude to actually focus in and finish particular games, and then go back to doing the regularly scheduled type of activities sort of thing. I don't know what you guys think of that. Time to eat the fish? Hopefully not, Vera Johnson. That sounds gross. That being said, I can still be here and game with all my friends because my download speed is fine, so not worrying too much. First world problems, right? Yeah, but yeah, but first world problems are still problems. It's not a competition to, you know, compete for the worst problems ever. You're allowed to be upset, even if it's not the biggest problem in the world. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Okay, why? Why is power not connected? It was connected before, what the heck? Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen production. Offline. Well, that's irritating. I need 
gold. <clears throat> Just stream city skylines 24-7? <laughs> no, I don't think that's going to work, California. I enjoy cities, but uh, yeah, i got to keep more variety than that. I like the shooty stuff, too, every once in a while. I don't know that I actually have any gold stored. Oh, I do. I have one. All right, so I think we'll come down here. Oh. Power restored. All primary systems online. Warning, emergency power only. I'm just gonna put that there to try to ensure that power remains on. We'll see how well that actually works. Welcome aboard, Captain. <clears throat> oh, nice DC Mitch. Just got back into Satisfactory tonight, still playing it at the moment. They've got update seven out now, don't they? Last time I played it was still update six. In fact, I don't think update six was officially out. I was doing like a preview of update six. So I might have to pop in and take a look at what's new in seven. That sounds reasonable. I mean, finishing games sounds like a good idea and not having to worry about playing three to four different games. Oh, if only it were only three to four games, Vera Johnson. I've got like 12 or 15 on the go, I'm sure. As much as Cities is great, I imagine you would be bored eventually. Yeah, I've never been the type of person that can just play one game forever, even though I probably fooled a number of people into thinking that I was because I have played about 3,000 hours of Fallout 4 on stream. It really depends on the game and what kind of thing I'm in the mood for. I can play Cities a lot. I can't play it constantly, though. Okay, so we have power sorted out. What else do we need? Um, well, let's do a little bit of materials gathering. Well, actually, before we do that... Um, okay, I can do some storage. If we're going to do some material gathering, storage is probably not the worst idea. But we're going to have more buildings that we want to construct. So I'm going to pop this. That goes there. Carry that. Put those there. That can go there so I don't lose it. Power cell. Right. I still need to build a charger to get that up and running. Um, oh, and I have the recipe for that right there, so that's handy. That needs an advanced wiring kit, two rubies, and some titanium. I'm sure I've got a ton of rubies at this point. The advanced wiring kit's going to be the thing that's tricky. Copper. To be honest, most streamers I see nowadays focus on two, maybe three games, depending on how long the game is and how ambitious they're feeling. Yep. But I'm not trying to be like every other streamer out there. Not that there's anything wrong with doing what they're doing, but I like doing what I'm doing too. Okay, so I need copper wire, table coral, gold. I'm going to need a few gold. That means we definitely... We definitely need to get on that resource gathering. Uh, oh, there it is. 
Now, I happen to know that gold is actually fairly easy to come by in this particular cavern. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, so that's the grapple, that's a mining arm. like, yeah, that's urinite. That will be good soon, because one of the things I want to get set up, I've got uh, decent power right now with my two thermal plants. But I want better than decent power. Just because it's fun to build stuff. So we're going to build a nuclear power plant. Sorry, folks. Coming through. That looks promising. They do working my way to blueprints since I love the idea of designing a modular factory using blueprints. Very nice. See, I think of Satisfactory as one of those games that I still have on the go, even though I don't think I've played it since early last summer. <laughs> Not done yet. There we go. got lead too. That'll be useful. Okay, so I'm going to take some of that, and I'm going to take there. Need a little bit of that. All right, now... get the computer chip out of the way because I want to pin the recipe for a fabricator on there. Feel like it's changed a lot since then? I'll have to check it out. It's a really good game. I got quite addicted for a little while. Eight hundred or so hours in the game off and on, so a break was needed. Wow. 
thing about our internet is family have told us that for what we pay, we should have been getting one gig already anyway. So this is me trying to get them to give us what we should have for what we pay anyway. I was only made aware of the actual internet bill recently because I normally just give my aunt a lump sum for the bills. Having the knowledge now, I can step in and get what we deserve. That's cool. Yeah, the pricing and the availability and the amount of service and stuff changes pretty dramatically. When I up got my upgraded internet a month or two ago, the price actually dropped for a hugely significant speed increase, which was pretty nice. Sub. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. I have copper ore at least, which means I can make copper wire. Oh, actually. Yep, I've got copper wire. Never mind. So I don't need that anymore, which means now I can pin the fabricator blueprint. I mean, I could just disassemble the one I've got here in my sub, but I want to have that available to me in the sub for when I'm out exploring in the sub. So, let me see. I think fabricator would be earlier on. Okay. Fabricator. That's what's going on here is a price drop for double the speed? Yeah. Yeah. Phones are like that too. Oh shoot, we have ads in progress, guys. I'll be back in a moment. Boom Boom is down. What the hell? Whoops. Sorry, boom boom. <laughs> oh god. Gotcha. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Got to go. Oh my God, the timing. Where did it come from? And he's completely unmoved by what he's just walked in on too. I expect you to faithfully carry out my request to teach a lesson to the thief Una. You need not kill her, but I have no qualms about it if you deem it necessary. Hulda! Hulda! I feel so betrayed. That was my cheese, Hulda. Back off. You really don't want to be standing there. Nadine, I'm giving you the count of five. 
five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. That name. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, let me see. Phones are like that, too. I want to switch services because I think the amount the big phone companies charge for service is asinine. It really is. It's ludicrous how much it costs to pay for... Like, I, 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 I don't have data on my phone in Canada because it's just stupid expensive. You get so little data for so much money, and then you get home internet, and it's like, here's a million gigabytes for a few pennies. There's no need to tell me that, Prob. No need whatsoever, ever. But have a good night. Okay, just grab a few extra of this. <laughs> All right, we can do a joke. Hang on one moment. Where are we? Let me just get the joke book open. Okay. What breed of dog can jump higher than a building? All of them. Buildings can't jump. There you go. Being able to play Age of Empires 2 on my Xbox is spoiling me. You feel like a little kid again? That is awesome. some titanium. Okay, so titanium. Another thing I don't actually have here. Ugh. That's okay. I'm pretty sure there are some titanium deposits around here that I can mine up. Yeah. 
maybe down here. That looks like, yeah, that's lithium. There we go. Yeah, I'm not sure that I've ever played Age of Empires 2. I think I played a little bit of the original Age of Empires once upon a time. That's a franchise I'm not super familiar with, though. Hey, Amish, how's it going? Okay, that will do for the short term. I'm gonna need more before long though. Okay, so now I can build a fabricator. Dying slow, but I think that's the goal. <laughs> Aren't we all? I'm doing all right. It's a good day. It's a good day. There we are so we don't have to keep swimming back to the sub every time I want to make something now. Uh, okay, for the wiring kit, I've got one silver. I just said I don't have to go back to the sub every time, but that's where my stuff is, so let's take a look at that and see if I happen to have silver there. Not so far. No, okay. That's unfortunate. I think I stashed my other grapple arm in here somewhere. Or I might be mistaken about that. Do I have it on me? I do. Okay. thing I like about Age of Empires 2 on Xbox is that it may be on PC as well now, but I don't really know. Really don't know. Is has a story mode difficulty that has jumped down a bit from standard difficulty. Still provides a beginner level challenge, but you can more easily beat the levels to more easily be told the stories. For me, I'm enjoying it because especially these days, a lot of AOE2 campaigns exist that you've never been through. That's awesome. I Is there a particular reason to believe, though, that the PC version would not have it? It would be strange to me if it's uh, like some kind of new version of it or something. It would be strange for one version of it to have that and another not. Now, if it's an older version on PC or something, then I could see that.
Okay, I think there might be silver somewhere up here. Honestly not, because this is the definitive edition, but they likely released it on PC as well. I only say that because you can't personally confirm it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, they definitely have titanium up here. There you are, okay. Oh, whoops. Oh, I swapped the controls on myself. Ah, perfect. Very nice. Oops, sorry. Okay, and there are more silver nodes up here. Perfect. So if I need more, I know where to go. go okay so we've got silver uh, actually I need a couple of those now I can do the wiring kit. And so all I need is gold, and I've already got some of that. No longer need that. Advanced wiring kit. And now I just need a couple of ruby, and I've got tons of that.
Bingo. There we go. All right, so that will gradually charge up, and now we've got the ability to more easily charge up the rundown cells in the sub, and also the um, the Seamoth and the Prawn Suit. Although they, I will eventually build a couple of uh, Moon Pools here as well. Speaking of, now I don't need that anymore. Honestly, uh, what is super nice is they did the Xbox port properly. They took years of development time to focus on how to properly create Xbox controller style controls for it that didn't feel rushed, hard to use, or like little effort was put in. It's easy to see they cared about preserving the classic fun for us on console. For that, I sincerely thank the team that worked on this. It means a lot to me as it's a big part of your childhood. Yeah. It is always good when they get the controls right. Okay, I think what we're gonna do, I'm gonna probably put in another large room. I'm gonna... Oh, shoot. Uh, maybe another thing I ought to do. Start getting some actual crops. I do have another nutrient block in the sub and some more samples. Oh, I've got a couple. Okay, that's good. There we go. I do, Erinor. Those are among the samples that I've got, but why not empty the ones from the inventory so that it's not taking up space? I could harvest a fresh one, but I don't really need to. How are you doing, by the way? It's good to see you. There we are. Going good, Sketchy. How are you doing? It's good to see you. New medication is screwing with your body? Oh, that sucks. I'm really sorry to hear that. I do feel the controls were the biggest challenge. The Series X has more than enough power to run the game, even to a point of 500 men units being built aside instead of the old maximum, which was 200. Oh, pfft. 500 is not a remote challenge for any kind of modern console uh, CD. Even the Switch would probably be able to handle a thousand of side or more. Hey, Space Vikings, how's it going? Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna need that. Got that, got that. Gonna need that too. Just playing some Pathfinder. How's your night going? So far, so good. So far, so good. I haven't been up to a whole lot of room, a uh, whole lot of stuff aside from 
uh, just, you know, do, oh, no, we want that. Aside from just, you know, stream, really. But it's it's been a pretty decent, relaxing night. Maltku, how goes? With dice and people space? Or one of the paths? Tranquil Sea is yap. Trying to work on that whole tranquility thing. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to need quartz. I'm going to go around and see if I can collect some. I'm sure there's some around here. Thank you. Oh, we had titanium right here. I didn't realize. Okay, there is a little bit here, but it is very much a little bit. I'm probably going to have to go up higher to find more quartz. That or maybe lower. I would prefer to go higher right now. Virtual dice, we're doing it over Roll20. Oh, that's really cool, Space Vikings. I hear Pathfinder has just kind of gone gangbusters over recent OGL events and whatnot, which honestly I'm really excited for because it's a really good game. And I think all of the RPGs will benefit from a more diverse ecosystem, less dominated by a single game, even if I do happen to really like that game. Did you see the Humble Bundle for all the Pathfinder books? They have that frequently, Modku. I've actually got most of the Pathfinder books through various Humble Bundles. It's always good to keep an eye on those. Okay, so that's lots of quartz. Oh, I guess we're going this way. Oh, where'd my base go? <laughs> I overshot. There we go. Ah. Quartz is well and good, but it needs to be glass. Well, 
So I guess the one thing I'm just thinking about what I'm going to need to make various things. The one thing I really can't get down here, I'll have to go back to the top side base for, is stalker teeth. Because I'm going to need enamel glass, I'm sure. Has the Core of the GM book the Bestiary Beginner Box in there too? Is that all for second edition though? Or are they still including first edition materials in it? Nine point three. Okay, titanium and lead to make more foundations. I still need more titanium crap. Man, did I use that much? Of course, we did just notice that there are titanium deposits right nearby, didn't we? Oh, ads are in progress, guys. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. I'm going to take a proper break, so maybe three and a half to five minutes or thereabouts. built the foundations minus five to hull strength i mean it wouldn't have destroyed anything Um, this is maybe not the best crap. <laughs> oh god, when was the last save? This could be really bad. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Journal entry added. Experience points received 200. This way. Oh. Nice move. Oh. Nathan. You will have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Milbert. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't <laughs> let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Helping the chef is the greatest of causes. It's true. It's true.
This is why we save. Phenomenal. Oh, and look at this. I'm coming up right on a shrine. That's really handy. Ah, oh my... <laughs> wow. Okay, and I am back. Thank you, Erinar. So, we're after... Titanium. Where was the titanium? Ah, right there. Also there. Okay, so I've got, oh, got a bunch of stuff here. So, still got titanium, silver, and quartz. Actually, if I've got that stuff, then maybe what I should do, so it's a bit easier to clear that stuff out. I do believe those are the basic ingredients of your average storage locker. Let's make another one. was awkwardly placed. Maybe put that over here instead. Okay. Our plants are growing nicely. Still got some time on some of these. I could grow four in one of these. That's pretty handy. Okay. 
I'm gonna have to build a bunch of those. Well, actually, I guess I don't really have to. I could use the vertical thing. Vertical connector. Thank you, Aaron Lar. Yeah, that happens to me a lot, actually, Erinor. Sometimes I have to go out of my way to kind of trick it into letting me clip. Always fun. too that'll be nice problem with these deep bases is you always have to be very cautious about the whole uh... what the what where do those you have to be cautious about the whole water pressure thing is what I was trying to say. Do you build base three down by the lava area or just me? No, I don't really feel any need to have a base down by the lava area. I barely feel the need to have this. I just kind of feel like building it. I would be perfectly capable of playing the rest of the game with just the one base at the top and using the Cyclops as a mobile base for the rest. We're gonna put the hatch. You don't want to go there. I guess we can put it here. Okay, now if I want to put that in, oh, you need plasteel ingots for that, okay. I think I've got ingots on board the Cyclops. I am not certain that it's plasteel ingots. I do have enamel glass. And regular glass. Nope, I'm mistaken. I don't have anything. Okay, so that means we have to go looking for more titanium. And we're going to need lithium, but that at least is really easy to get down here. Welcome aboard, Captain.
overboard, Captain. Okay, so let's see. Oh, damn it. Right. Just because it was in my ship inventory doesn't mean it's in my inventory. Okay, so titanium ingot and two lithium. Let's check these as well. No, okay, so I'm gonna need five more titanium. Uh, I do have a little bit of lithium there. Oh, I'm actually running low. So how many of you have played this? I know Erinlor has. And we all know I have multiple times. I am curious about how many of you do build a large number of additional satellite bases, or do you just use the one? this item. Okay. So we're maxed out on storage. to me that I'm running out of water, so maybe I ought to also take a look at what it would take to build another water filtration machine. Oh, that's actually surprisingly easy. Copper wire, titanium, and aerogel. I can do that. It does mean I'm going to have to start cultivating some stuff here, so let's have a look at the exterior grow bed. Start putting a few of these around. Seek fluid 
it take? Otherwise, I have to go all the way back to the other base Vital soon. Stabilizing. Uh, we're starting to get harvest here. Not a whole lot yet, but that's okay. No, it's not quite done yet. Okay. Materials. I can make materials. Okay, and now aerogel. And it's only the one aerogel, so that's not too bad. You know what? I'm gonna disassemble this. Why not put it here? Sacrifice this to the agriculture gods. And I'll just harvest that one and we'll use that to make the aerogel. And then I can't help but notice we've got deep shrooms over here, so let's cut up a couple of those. these two so we can go plant that. Or I could... I might have to wait a bit. Okay, that's fine. Or... 
maybe the answer is I don't have enough titanium. Welcome Doesn't bode well for my ability to make the ingots that I'm trying to make. Oh, except, wait, I already have them. Okay. So we're good. Dara, how's it going? our aerogel and that completes that kind of sleepy just finished playing some online tabletop stuff flying circus I'm doing pretty good it's been a very chill day and oh wow actually you know what I was expecting a sub 20 degree, you know, like a minus 20 degree temperature. It's actually only minus four. It's a lot less cold today. But still pretty chill. We're making some good progress on our undersea in a cave base over here. I'm running through titanium like nobody's business. Welcome aboard, Captain. Jim Racer, how's it going? It's good to see you. Thank you, Aranar. What is this? Aha! Okay. Actually, let me just check my storage. Oh, that's where it all went. Okay. I thought it was weird that I had run out so quickly. The classic mistake. We have ads beginning again soon, so I'm going to actually run and run some clips right now, and I'll be back in a minute or two once the uh, ads are done, so just hang in there for a moment. You won't be missing anything if you do have to see ads. Oh shoot, it's a copy.
How did I do that? What the heck? Art <laughs> that, that was unexpected. Artillery provided. <laughs> uh, wow. And I thought I had done some parking jobs in this game. Just hey, as soon as I finish looting. Great gears, you're alive. Uh, would you mind applying a little leverage? Just give me half a second. Priorities first, sir. No, I'm oh, damn it. Oh, crap. Ah. I shouldn't have said anything. Ah. Oh, God. Oh, why? Chat, why? This has been a very quiet level so far. It makes me very suspicious. Well. Oh my god! That has to be a reference. That must be a reference. There's no way that's not a reference. Strog jog rog? Um. Mind you, I haven't tried putting two in a single enclosure yet. Okay, we are back. How are you doing tonight, Jim? It's good to see you. Thank you, Anstara. Thank you, Aaron Uh So what were we doing? I was looking for the lithium and titanium I had. Right, because I want to do... to do plasteel ingots. Okay, so I've got two titanium ingots already. Let's just get a bunch of that put away. And I should be able to do plasteel. And plasteel. Thank you, Jim. I'm glad to hear that. Alright, let's see how badly this demolishes my structural integrity. Ooh, holy crap! Not so sure now that I really need that second level. <laughs> I 
maybe I can put the um, maybe I can put the stuff to better use. Oh, shoot, it's titanium ingots you need for a moon pool. I am going to need two moon pools. Well, I'm not going to need two moon pools, but I'm going to want two moon pools. Once again, I need titanium. <coughs> For me, this base two is simply a recharge safety point like with a moon pool. It's a little bit more than that for me, but not much. I just really enjoy the building. Oop. That's not gonna be good. That's where my storages are. That will be where the moon pool goes. I might have to relocate those storages, actually, because I really would prefer to have the moon pool out this way. That's this game, Aaron Lar, just in creative mode. Still doesn't let you fly, but you don't really need to fly, do you? Or are you thinking of building up into the atmosphere as well? Well, come on in, Vitor NX. How are you doing? Okay, so I need at least eight more titanium. Lucky for me, we just found another deposit of it. So let's go grab that.
recommended. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, let's get our titanium. Wait, what? Gimme. Thank you. Okay, so we no longer need the big room. That's just not gonna work, sadly. Still need that though. So that needs lead and I'm gonna need a lubricant. And I'm sure I've got lubricant on board the sub. If not, we may have to pop back up to the surface again, but that's okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. There we are. Now, I'm a little concerned about this. I'm probably going to destroy the base. Oh, actually, it might not be that bad. I got rid of the upper room there. But still. have to see how this works. Before I finish building that, maybe I should save. Yep, yeah, okay. Okay, <laughs> let's see if we can't go fix the uh, internal pressure leaks that we created. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to build some more foundations or maybe do some reinforcing. Oh, nothing's leaking. What the heck? Impressive. Well, if that's the case, give me lithium. Okay, I 
can do at least one more foundation, so that's good. So what did we get down to? Negative 3.5? Plus two, so I'm gonna need more than that. Looks like we gotta go back and mine some more lead. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Do I have space for it? Yes, I do. Welcome aboard, Captain. so well last time. Dude! Excuse me. Once you lose momentum, it's so hard to get it back again for this climb. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's not helpful. sir and or ma'am how many tries will it take two freaking many wait unless of course I don't need to climb <laughs> 
Mission accomplished. I'm gonna have to build a regular battery charger too. Batteries are getting pretty low here. Oh, shoot, right. Scanning room, maybe. I don't really find it to be a necessity. Once again, I set off in search of titanium. Coming through. Make way. We're going down a bit. Five and a half minutes, by the way, folks. Five and a half minutes, and we'll be doing some ads again. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, good. I bounced up. I thought I was going to get stuck and then have to do the awkward climb all over again. That should be enough.
0.5. Oh my god, that was barely enough. But now I've got the prawn suit. Moon Welcome pool. aboard, Captain. Okay. Vital signs stabilizing. Now, I still need the moon pool, but I shouldn't need aerogel anymore. So, let's get rid of that. Or, well, I shouldn't need it immediately, that is, I should say. Um, pretty sure I'm familiar with the multi-purpose room one. One and a half minutes. Lithium and titanium. Some reinforcement might actually be good. Plasteel, advanced wiring, and lead. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to need that. So that's computer chip, titanium, and copper wire. Oof. Where do you get copper down here? Alright, guys. I'm going to take a quick break. My breaks are usually three and a half to five minutes in length when they're proper breaks. So I will run some ads or I will run some clips, rather, while ads are going to play. So if you are going to have to see ads, I apologize in advance, but you won't actually miss anything. Uh, so I'll be back in a few minutes, and if you need to get up yourselves and grab some food or a snack, now's a real good time. Traffic simulation is a tough nut to crack, though, for a game that has to track so much else at the same time. Um, whoops. <laughs> oh no! Now I'm terrified because I've got so many companions, it's inevitable that one of them is going to get set some of these off and I'm just going to get whacked. Like that, for example. It's so nice to see the trap. It's not likely to explode very satisfactorily. So I don't think we have any choice. Oh! Never mind. Yes, game, I know. Residential, it's fine. It's fine. I'm actually gonna put a little residential in here. People can live in the park, it's not a problem. Our 
charge boost. Excellent. Okay. Oh, what do you like to do for fun? Whatever's next. To do with this. Oh, I think that was just the thing that delivered the thing for the thing. Ah! Oh, God. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my. Now you know why they wanted to close the hole behind you. You have become the unwilling victim of the dreaded cave squid. Tough luck. You know, I think that might very well be the very first time I have ever... Maybe even gaining the advantage over... What? How are there... Where are you? What? Rude. Whoa! What the hell was that? Wow. Camera mode. That's not at all what I wanted. Although... Well... That was not what I wanted, but it worked out pretty well. Some sort of, um, you know, gunship or something, which may still be coming, actually. Behind you. Say, did you promise to do anything for me? I am sworn to carry your burdens. That's what... Okay, I guess these guys are immortal. Nope. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Melee Island mop handle tree. Several hours later. Okay, I love that clip so much. I'm so heartbroken that so much of the Return to Monkey Island VOD collection was lost somehow. Still don't even know how. I'm so annoyed. But I love that clip. That clip is great. I'm going to have to replay Monkey Island at some point, and we're going to go through... I don't think I can go through the fourth game still, but we can at least go through one through three, and then we can do five, and then we can do Return again. Thank you, Aranar. Uh, so what do we need next? Oh. I need water is what I need. Thank you, Jim. Okay, so we've got ourselves a moon pool. I'm 
gonna need another, but I need to build that high enough up that the sea moth can get back. Maybe we should go explore a little bit downwards. Uh, I know another thing we're gonna need, actually, um... Okay, we're gonna do some reinforcement. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be worthwhile doing more of that. Well, that and just make sure that every single one of the VODs gets uploaded sketchy. I'm uh, I'm doing my best. Like you guys know, or at least those of you who hang out on the Discord are well aware because I spam the links everywhere. But I do have more than one YouTube channel for the stream. And one of them is dedicated specifically just to collect the... Uh, you know, the VODs of the stream that I download every night and upload. But for a long time, I wasn't uploading them. I was just collecting them on a hard drive. And every once in a while, I would miss one. And so there were gaps in the collection. And of course, I only started downloading them regularly in 2022. So I have very few VODs. Like, I do have the occasional... I have a couple of VODs uh, that I can't really explain that somehow apparently I downloaded back in 2014, shortly after I started streaming. And then I have, you know, a few scattered ones from later on. I had a small collection from 2020, but you know, most of 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, virtually nothing from those years and virtually nothing from 2021. Uh, ooh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so we can go down to 1300 feet. Yeah, right now, older content on my main YouTube channel, the non-archive one, I still have a whole bunch of archives on there. I'm gradually, over time, downloading them and moving them to the other channel. But for the most part, I'm using that as my YouTube Shorts collection. And that's where all the shorts go when I upload those at least to YouTube, then I also put them on Insta... Uh... You okay, game? This is kind of the opposite of the problem I usually encounter. <laughs> Instead of falling through the world, apparently I can just freely walk on top of it now? <laughs> okay. What do we got in here? There's more gold. And still more gold. Just downloaded some editing software today. Oh, what did you go with, Jim? That's video editing, you mean? Oh, crap. I forgot these guys are hanging around. 
Oh, shoot. There's another one right there. Go away. I don't want any. Oh, damn it. They're everywhere. Oh, God. Hopefully he's no longer on my tail. Oh, right, the little leech things. I forgot all about those. Copper ore, so you can get copper down here. That's good to know. It's not my favorite place to visit, but okay. Oh, Jim, that's a very good choice. DaVinci Resolve, I actually used Adobe Premiere Elements for a number of years, but I just a few months ago switched over to DaVinci Resolve because I really, really like it. It's really good software. Like, so, my God, why? They're everywhere. What the heck? Hi. One of the best underappreciated streamers on Twitch. California, you are way too kind. Thank you. I'm working on growing. I think I'm just maybe too low-key to gain serious mainstream appeal. But I, I don't necessarily need to have huge mainstream appeal. I would just like to get the stream to be a bit bigger. I don't necessarily want to get to be like, you know... Pokemon size or Mr. Beast or whoever the top streamers are. I don't even know who the top streamers are. Ow. Okay, that's a new combat technique I had never considered before. Oh, crap. I don't suppose you'd be willing to just stay the heck out of my way, sir.
Okay, he's up that way. Oh, there's more of them over there. Oh, God. No, 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 no. 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 No, 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 no. No. Go away. Oh, God. And now I'm suddenly trapped. Oh, okay. There's an exit there. Oh. I do not like hunter killers. Really, also really needs to capitalize on his God-given hypnotic voice. You are way too kind. Voice work is really, really tough, though. It's one thing to have a good voice, but lots of people have good voices. You also need a lot more than that if you're going to make it in voiceover and voice acting and all that stuff. I have slowly, slowly over many years learned to accept that people think I have a really nice voice. But I don't have all the other things like acting talent that you would really need. Oof, okay. That's our first Kyanite acquired. You sure you're 18 or more? Wow. Okay. So what did we need the Kyanite for? I guess I'm going to just quickly pop back to the other base. So I think I can make some upgrades now that I've got some kyanite. Have a great night, California. Thank you so much for stopping in. I appreciate it. Thank you as well for the kind words. And I will catch you again soon. Of course, these days, going back to the topic of doing stuff with your voice and all that, it doesn't stop you from just doing stuff on your own instead of convincing people to do stuff. If you just, you know, do it, do readings of things. Like we were talking last night while playing Skyrim about reading Skyrim books. I can definitely do that. And uh, the reason I originally had a streaming microphone is that I didn't get it for streaming originally. I got it to do recordings of my own work. I could certainly do some of that. Blue tablet, prawn suit cyclops thermal reactor, prawn suit cyclops depth modules, and part of the Neptune thing. Oh, right, okay. Whoa, what the heck? Where am I? I don't think I'm where I expected to be. Oh, hello. Ah, wrong turn. Oh, so, th yeah, that's got to be right over the entrance to that cave. Okay. Am 
That's right, you back away. Don't you even think about it, buddy. I don't even think I've seen a blue tablet yet, Aaron, though. I've got the purple ones and the orange ones. I haven't seen blue yet. Your low-key chill vibes are the best thing about this channel, Gord. Thank you so much, Jim. I really appreciate that. Sorry I took so long to see that message. But, uh, yeah, going back to DaVinci Resolve as well, Jim, if you have any questions or anything about it, I mean, I'm not exactly a master. I've only been using it a few months myself. But I really, 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 really love it a lot. And I'm more than happy to talk shop with it. I would really enjoy that, actually. Greeny and I have been talking a little bit about it because he's settled on that as the package he's going to use as well. Okay, so let's see. Modification station. Mark II depth module, we've already got that. The Mark III depth module. I think I might already have that one too. Wait, what? Some. Much better. I boosted the gain on the um, text-to-speech stuff. It's actually possible to hear it now. Thank you so freaking much, Bill Zerb. Thank you for the Prime sub. I really, really appreciate that. 47 months. Damn, that's such a long time. How are you doing, Bill? It's good to see you. Cyclops Depth Module Mark III increases diving depth to maximum, does not stack. Oh, so maybe what I want to do then, since I need the previous module and a plasteel ingot, and I'm short on materials up here because I carted it all back there, maybe my best course of action is um, I'm just going to eat a little bit grab some water and whatnot, but um, maybe I take the modification station and the uh, vehicle modification station here and bring them the materials back with me so I can reconstruct them in that base. And then I can bring them back here again later if I need them, but by then I might not even need them. Prawn suit module. 
Got that one. Thermal reactor, I should definitely get. I think I've already got that. I think it's really just the thermal reactor I need at this point. Have a good night, Aaron, Laura. You want a vehicle and or Cyclops upgrade thingy? They're separate machines. Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry about the Cyclops one. That one is built into the Cyclops itself. Once you've built the Cyclops, you're good. I remember distinctly because I remember on, I think it was the last run I did, I was going to completely skip building the Cyclops. I just wasn't going to bother at all until I discovered that you need the... Um, you need the energy shield generator, the Cyclops energy shield generator to do the Neptune rocket. And the only way to build that module is to do it on board the Cyclops. So I had to build a Cyclops specifically to build that upgrade so that I could escape the planet. All right, I might as well upgrade my stuff. Oh, Gary, what are you doing in here? This is an air-filled chamber. You can't swim here. Where'd you go, Gary? There you are. Oh, I never skip. Wow, I never scanned Gary. Oh, damn it. I'll have to finish scanning him another time. go. Ah, uh, thank you, Aaron. Or yes, it is time to run some more clips. I'll be back as soon as the ads are over, guys. What are these clowns thinking they're doing? Oh my god, did I actually get Wooden barracks constructed in Mayo. I would normally want to build wooden barracks in the earth rather than in mayonnaise, but, you know, construction techniques were a little more primitive back then. You gotta make... Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. <laughs> oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Hmm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. <laughs> That's a hell of an intro. You're down in the grass, huh? Nope. Totally not. Hello. 
that is how you deal with trolls. Yeah, don't forget to clip, guys. I want some good Halloween clips for October this year. When I something happens to me or I do stuff. I'm clipping myself when I think of it, but... Oh, my God. I think you're so scary, sir, but you're dead. You don't even know it. Okay, we are back. Uh, right, I was going to deconstruct that. And I've got plenty of space here too, so I'll deconstruct this as well. Perfect. Oh no, hey Watai, how's it going? It's good to see you. Terrible pun or dad joke incoming, folks. Brace yourselves. What does a man use to fix broken tomatoes? Tomato paste. There you go. How are things going, Watai? It's great to have you here. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend so far. Doing good considering looking for your bed, but a few hours of gourd might be just what's needed. Hopefully. Hopefully. It's great to have you here. So, do you, or anyone else, let's make it an open question, have any good plans for the remainder of the weekend? For me, it's mostly just going to be streaming. And actually, I'll bring up the topic again, since we have more and different people here than we did when I broached it last a few hours ago. I've been considering making a change to the way that I schedule streams. Not like the actual days and times that I stream. That's going to remain consistent for the time being. But I'm thinking that it, um, it's been a while now, probably close to a year since I started doing the whole Anything Goes Thursday, Fantastical Friday, Strategy Saturday, Retro Sunday, Maker Monday thing. And that's been fine. It's been working reasonably well. Except, it does make it difficult to actually finish games. So what we might do every once in a while, and it doesn't have to be a thing that I make a point of doing, but, you know, if I wanted to focus on, say, finishing Subnautica and Subnautica uh, Below Zero, for example, we could basically suspend the regular schedule until I get those out of the way and then go back to doing the the scheduled time slot things for types of games. And that would particularly come into usefulness when I've got something like um, a big new release game comes out. 
Like, I'm not sure if the big DLC for Far Cry 6 is out yet, but that, for example, or when Baldur's Gate 3 comes out of early access and we have access to the entire game, that would certainly be something I'm going to want to play for a while. That kind of idea. Sounds like a good idea? Yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm thinking we're going to go. And then as soon as whatever it is that's got my attention for a while, like Baldur's Gate or Far Cry, whatever it might be, when we're done with that, we can always slide back into the regular scheduled stuff. And so that way it just becomes, instead of the absolute hard rule that I've been sort of mostly treating it as, it'll be more of a fallback position. So when we don't have something that you're going to expect me to play, you can expect me to play those things instead. I almost forgot that I'm almost at crush depth. Perfect. Okay. So we've got our modification station. We've got water filtration going. Sorry about the flashy lights. Alright, so... What do we need here? Prawn Suit Depth Module Mark II. 5 titanium, 2 lithium, 3 kyanite, which I've got. Yeah, let's see if we can do the depth module mark 2. Okay, so I need two lithium and five titanium. I don't have enough titanium, damn it. Whoops. It's funny to me that the prawn suit will be crushed right now if I take it out of the Seamoth because it's too far down. But I can get into the water with no problem. more 
bed. I don't need that at the moment. That's gold. Ah, that is not what I'm looking for. That's silver. Copper could be useful, though. It's good to know that that's right here. There's a lot of copper, gold and silver here. I need titanium. That's brilliant, I say go for it. it. Certainly sounds like a plan. I think most of us are just happy that you stream. What you stream is up to you. Well, I mean, yes and no, Atai. I mean, I do want to grow the channel, and let's be honest, it's been pretty steady going for many years now. Let's put it that way. I would like to change that, and that means something else is going to have to change, otherwise it's just going to stay stagnant for a long, long time. And that's not doing us any good. I don't want to grow to be super enormous, but I would like to get a bit bigger than we are. think we've been up here this playthrough yet. Let's see if I can find titanium up here. That actually... That looks promising. That That's it. Now, to be fair, and to your point, I actually suspect that most of what the channel has been missing isn't really anything to do with the channel itself, for the most part. I'm sure I could be better. But that's true of literally everybody. There's no streamer alive that couldn't improve in some way. I think I just completely ignored all the other socials for way too long. Like, I never really did YouTube. I never really did TikTok. I never really did Instagram. I did Twitter, but I didn't really do much with it. I didn't do nearly enough. All that kind of stuff. And I think that's more important than I ever really thought about. And so that's where a lot of my energy is going and trying to improve right now, is to do more with that stuff. Have a good night, Bob. I think it's also a bit slow going to create a more mature and easygoing community, community since there are so many younglings that watch Twitch and are looking for a different vibe. Yeah, that's definitely part of it. Oh. Uh, okay. Whoops, sorry. But fortunately, like I commented earlier, I'm not really looking to be Pokemon or Mr. Beast or anything like that. I don't want to be the biggest, most exciting stream on Twitch. I like that we can have conversations when I'm not too distracted by the game to notice that people are talking to me. And I think if I were ever to actually become that big, that would kind of go by the wayside. I just wouldn't be able to keep up and keep up with everything people are saying. Which doesn't really appeal all that much, to be honest. I don't love that.
Okay, there we go. Mark two. Seventeen hundred meters. I do like the community you built here. It's very fitting for your streams and easy also to fit in as a viewer. I look forward to any changes you make. Thank you, Sharky. Or, <laughs> I always want to call you Sharky. Sorry, Shark Snarky. I don't know why. That's that's just how my brain interprets your username. I apologize. Okay, now I've got lithium and I've got titanium so I think what we're gonna do is more reinforcement twenty one point five greenie how's it going it's good to see you it is supposed to be Sharky Snarky, but someone took it. Well, at least I'm getting the intended name correct. <laughs> Hang on a second here, Greeny. How are you doing tonight? It's good to see you. There we go. I'm sure most of the people here already know Greeny, but just in case there's anybody who doesn't, make sure you go give them a follow. Okay, I think I'm going to actually use the Seamoth to go back and collect some of that titanium that I didn't have space for. Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to go drill the rest of it out and I'm going to use that. Unless, unless maybe I've got a few more pieces stuffed inside the storage. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, no. Oh, I do. I have tons. Okay, never mind. No need. Broadcasting to you through ESP. Very cool. You're close to 900? That's awesome, Greeny. The cook with the healthy interest in dice, yes. Very healthy interest. Extremely healthy interest. I can understand that, Greeny. More dice are never a bad thing. Uh, oh, have I actually managed to run out of... No, I have not. Okay, never mind. Crisis averted. Thirty-five structural integrity. All right, I think that'll probably do for now. Man, with that much structural integrity, I'm almost thinking I could redo the upper level of this room. That would definitely give me many more places I can put reinforcement to solidify the base. Okay. 
We need to name the prawn suit. It can't just be prawn suit. That's boring. What should we name it? Could I suggest a pipe up and a higher moon pool for the moth? You could, Watai. You could. I don't have the resources for it yet, though, but I will admit that was actually the original plan. I am going to have two moon pools. I have been having some manner of difficulty. I'm not sure how to actually connect the uh, pipe up. It doesn't seem to want to snap to anything that I've built so far. Of course, I didn't have the titanium for it either. But I can't seem to connect it here. So I'm not entirely sure where that's going to end up going. Unless maybe it has to go there. Ah. Okay. That's as high as I can go for the moment. Can't connect to the small gray spots in the large room? Uh, I don't believe so. No, doesn't look like it. I think those are just visual candy sort of things. It's okay. We'll build up from there, and we'll put the moon pool maybe right Warning. over. Maximum oh. depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Right. I wasn't actually going to take this one out. I keep doing that by habit. And we were right over here around this bend. There it is. Two and a half minute warning, folks. We'll be taking a break in about two and a half minutes. It's not clear that it's something that even requires a cure, so no. Alright, how 
how much have we got hanging out here? Well, it didn't really give us very much, did it? That's okay. We'll head up over this way. Terrain scans indicate this biome contains unusually high concentrations of organic and fossilized remains. Good to know. Let's see if I can scan these fossils over here. Nope, no can do. I do, however, see a nice titanium deposit, which is exactly what I was hoping for. talking about speed leaf We have ads in progress, folks, so if you will bear with me, I will just take a quick break to uh, get up and move around a little bit. If you need to get up and grab some food or a drink or something, now's a really good time, and I'll be back with you in just a few. It's not likely to explode very satisfactorily. So I don't think we have any choice. Oh! Never mind. It's called How to Get Ahead in Navigating. What? Oh my god. Well, look at this. It looks like instructions on how to get ahead. We could give him our head and use these instructions to get ourselves a new one. Yes, I suppose we can give you this now. I'm not sure where that boat went. Is he just taking a nap? I mean, of all the possible things he could break out of his enclosure and do, that's probably about the best, but come on. Uh, yeah, back off. You really don't want to be standing there. Nadine, I'm giving you the count of five. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. Behind a Neko, which can be revived by other players. That's cool. Holy crap, Lady Devon. That's awesome. Lady Devon is another streamer. I don't know if you guys know her, but I know her. She's awesome. 
So apparently she's playing this. Oh, I found my own echo. That's amazing. Echo reports that they found themselves briefly in some extra dimensional space. External viewports revealed that they were surrounded by countless ships of alien design, suspended in a seemingly endless void. Before the crew could get their bearings, the vision abruptly faded and they found themselves back in regular space. However, roughly half the crew are missing. Science officer Abla Loblaku speculates that they may have been selectively trapped by some unknown. the last <laughs> Thank you. All right, I am back. Uh, thank you, Greenie. Nobody significant, Amish. I have no idea what the guy was talking about. And uh, Shark, thank you so much for the lurk. I appreciate it. I hope you feel better really quickly. Okay. That is one heck of a huge rib cage. Isn't there supposed to be a juvenile ghost around here? Could have sworn there was supposed to be a ghost around here. The ghost's friends certainly seem to be hanging out. Maybe it's deeper in. I don't hear anything, though. Oh, well. I got the titanium. I don't really need to worry about ghosts and fossils. Not at the moment, at least. <laughs> that can work, Amish. Not my preferred approach, though, because it does tend to degrade the quality of the conversation in the channel while it's going on. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, well, let's see what we've got here. Twenty three point eight. That's actually dropping pretty quickly. Twenty two. That'll probably do. And then what we'll do is how high up are we? Oops, no, nope, out of the way. Yeah, that'll probably do. Okay, and we need ah, two titanium ingots. Okay. I'm going to need even more titanium. Well, okay. I guess we can do that. Let's go. I'd go to the area where the disease research facility is, but unfortunately, there are an awful lot of HKs over there. Really not all that interested in heading out that way. Oh, isn't that convenient? I don't have to. How did I miss this? Wow. Of course, I need two titanium ingots, which means I need 20 titanium, which means this is not likely to give me everything that I need. I'm probably going to need another one. I did still have a few titanium left, though. Okay, so on me, I've got seven. Actually, that's better than I thought. Mm, okay. We might be all right after all. Um, oh, there it is. That was perfectly picked. That was not.
Ah, right, lead and lubricant. Actually, I think the lubricant is on board the Cyclops, so let's go pick that up. I may have lead here too. What's that? It's lithium, not lead. That's nickel, still not lead. No, okay. I'm sure I still have some inside the base though. Minus 8.9, damn. Okay, but it works. Now, oh, yeah, we okay, yeah, we can safely get in there, I'm sure. Ooh, actually, not by much. I might be better off building another section or two of the tube upwards. That's very close to the crush barrier. And I just realized that I built the tube, but I have no ladder. <laughs> oh boy, all right, hang on. <laughs> right, I had the perfect amount of titanium, which means now I don't have enough for a ladder. Okay, what do we got in here? Nickel. That also looks like nickel. promising. we go. Still no sign of the ghost, huh? Yeah, okay. Well, maybe it's a different cavern.
There we go. Um, can that's not does it have to go? Oh, I guess that probably makes the most sense. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I did it again. I went and I mined up the titanium, but that uh, doesn't mean that it magically appears in my inventory. It's still on board. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Okay. Second moon pool achieved. Now, next project. Actually, you know, I was going to build a nuclear power plant down here. I'm not sure I really need it, though. I've got two thermal generators, and so far, it seems to be having no problem whatsoever keeping up with demand. I can always change things up if that does change. But so far, it seems good. That was well-timed. Getting the BZ stuff backloaded into the first game was very appreciated. Now I'm going to start a campaign to get that toilet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it does seem a little bit cruel to have them down on this planet for so long, and they just literally have nothing to go on. How are you doing, Crispy? It's good to see you. Okay. So, moon pool constructed. I think the only other thing I can think of that I might need in this area is, as Aaron Lore suggested earlier, a scanner room might be useful. I don't know how strictly necessary it really is, though. Pretty good hanging out and playing a little Kerbal on the side. Very nice. I'm very excited for the uh, release later this month of Kerbal Space Program 2. I'm not sure anymore that I'm going to pick it up right away because it sounds like it's not going to be feature complete when it releases in early access, which, I mean, early access. It's to be expected, I suppose. But it's going to depend on what the feature set is. If there were, like, uh, you know, if there's no campaign or if there were too many things that I enjoy from the first game that aren't there, I might wait a while to pick it up. You know, it's not a knock against the game. It's just I want to play when the stuff that I enjoy is in it, you know? Okay. I won't jump on it immediately, but it'll be my main Twitch target for that, yeah. All right. I guess what I could do... Uh, where's exterior modules? There we go. I did want to put down another exterior grow bed out here. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I got samples of so many things, but I didn't get everything I needed. We have to go back to the surface temporarily. I need creep vine cluster. I guess it's okay at the depth that's at there at the moon pool. It's maybe a little bit low. 
But as long as I'm reasonably careful, I should be okay and not crush the ship. I do have one, but I was thinking that it might not be the worst idea to pick up another, at least one or two. I mean, once I start growing it, I can always just harvest and plant from that too as well. So it's not really strictly necessary, but if I happen to see some up here, maybe in this cavern, Maybe make a pit stop once we get outside, because it's definitely all over the place outside. Oh, there you are. There's the one. I don't actually see any blood oil in here. I could have sworn there was at least a little bit. Well, it depends on which exit you use, but the one that I habitually use, yeah, you do tend to. Oh, and there is, of course, this gigantic blood vine right here. Let's see if I can't harvest from this. Oh, well, that's actually a bit of a problem. Before I get too much further, let's go drop crap off so that I can actually get the stuff that I need. That would be helpful. I scan you guys. Do you mind? Actually, I don't think I've scanned these guys either, come to think of it. Always with the food and water. All right, then. Oh, 
Nope, give me that back. There we go. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so I've got the two blood oil there. Good. So that's probably enough. I don't think I need more than that. But I will try to get four of the uh, creep vine samples. Not the creep vine, the, the yellow part, the fruit of it. Oh, crap. Ads are in progress. I am so sorry, guys. I will be back in a minute. I have to leave him here. He's going to get shot to death if I don't. Hey, oh jeez. <laughs> what? Hey, that was not me. Oh my god, no, don't push me off. Oh my god, Serana. <laughs> Lydia. Guys, if you could stop popping up and shoving me to the side, that would be amazing. Thank you. Okay. Sorry about that. I caught that while the ads were still in progress, at least. Okay. Attempt to get back to the surface. Number two... Off we go. How? What? Wait. How the heck am I already damaged? What did I bump into? I don't even remember hitting anything. There's a fair number of resources here. If I can get the prawn suit back to it somehow seems to be a little more challenging than it should be, some of the time at least. Ground clipping is cheating, sir. Oh. 
Ugh. Okay, that time at least I know what I bumped into. Hey, Chicken Wing, how are you doing? It's good to see you again. I freaking love Subnautica. This is not my first playthrough. This is going to be the fourth time that I have finished the game on stream. And one of my previous attempts was actually a complete successful game on hardcore difficulty, which is the one where if you die, it deletes your saved game. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm rusty. I don't remember everything there is to remember about the game, but I absolutely love it. I've played it before. It's fantastic. One of my favorite games of all time, honestly. I've played a little bit of two, but that's one of the reasons why I'm playing it again right now is because I never finished Below Zero, and when I'm done this one, we're going to go and play the heck out of that too. There we go, creep vine. Rude. Ah, man, those things, I swear, they hit harder than the actual hostile sharks. That's not a good sound. That's a very bad sound. Go away. So how about you, Chicken Wing? It sounds like you've played them as well. How are you doing this weekend? I hope you've uh, had a good one so far. Any big plans for tomorrow? That's an open question. Anyone who feels like can answer, by the way. That'll buff out, not a problem. Really, really enjoyed one and two. Yeah, I really enjoyed what I have played of the second one so far. I just didn't get all that terribly far. I don't know why exactly. I was really enjoying it so I'm not sure what it was it may be that a big game came out while I was still playing it or something like that and stopped me from getting back into it that happens occasionally There we 
we go. Okay, so this should have room for... Actually, that's perfect. Four of those, and then two blood vine. I appreciate the spoiler avoidance. I'm looking forward to getting there. I do plan to start below zero once I'm done this playthrough here. There we go. Welcome on in, Christian. No, this is not my first playthrough. I've actually played it three times before to completion, and one of those times was hardcore mode. It's been a while, though, so I am kind of rusty. Not exactly at the peak of my game. I've forgotten a lot of little things, locations of this, that, and the other thing. It took me an embarrassingly long time to find the Disease Research Center. But uh, for the most part, I'm doing pretty good, as you might expect, and just loving being back in the game again. It's nice to have you here, though. How are things going? Welcome on in. Why is... Oh, never mind. Okay. So, I'm not sure what we're going to work on next. I was planning on building the nuclear power facility next. But I'm not actually convinced that we're going to need it. I don't need that. We're good there. Done with that. And done that. Got the vehicle upgrade maker. Oh, prawn suit thermal reactor would be nice. I've got the kyanite. I can make the polyaniline. That just leaves a wiring kit, and that's a heck of a lot easier than an advanced wiring kit. I should have silver. What do I need for polyaniline again? Hydrochloric acid and gold. That should be simple enough. Three deep shrooms and a salt deposit. I haven't played since before the new update. Yeah, that's the other reason. I'm playing partly because we've got this fancy schmancy new update with all the big room stuff from Below Zero. But also, I've never actually beaten Below Zero. I've played a little bit of it. I didn't get too terribly far in it. And so I wanted to just kind of go through Subnautica again, bask in how good it is, and then get back to um, the playthrough. Oh, sorry, flashing lights get back to doing the um, below zero stuff as well so that I can actually finish that one one of these days. Um, there we go. And top us up a little bit there. Okay, three deep shrooms, and I think I should probably have salt on board the sub. I'm not sure how it compares to the first, but I really enjoyed the part that I did play. Okay, let's see here. Oh, 
Okay, and now I just need gold. I think I needed two of those though, didn't I? Yeah, I did. And you no, know, that's still just a wiring kit. That's good. Okay. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Welcome on in. You are now a lore seeker. Crafting in this game? Yeah, I really enjoy the crafting system. Sometimes finding some of the harder to find crap in various areas can be a pain in the butt. But it's not too bad. Okay, so I just need one more polyaniline, so... Let's go grab some deep shrooms. Wait, what? What the heck? C27 Pen, thank you so much for coming in with the raid. Welcome on in. What's going on? Darkwing Dave, I like that name. And uh, Monthar Kragan, welcome in. It's a penny raid, folks. Fish are friends, not food. I agree. Fish are also disgusting as food. How's everybody doing? Welcome on in, folks. I appreciate you entrusting your community to us. If you've never been here before, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, and every once in a while, I will throw in a an actual real-world physical Lego brick building stream. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. And I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Come on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that was... Let's go for it. Oh. Looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. Wow. 
There you go. Oh. One second. Okay. Sorry about that. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around here, including technical gaffes and awkwardness when the raid video ends. Uh, I'm still getting used to some upgrades I did to my system just recently, so uh, I'm a little bit out of sorts. But uh, welcome on in, everyone. It's so wonderful to have you all here. How's everybody doing? Thank you so much for all of those follows. I really appreciate it. So uh, what were you up to this evening? Let me see. We got a shout out. Thank you very much, Greeny. What did you... Oh, you were playing Subnautica as well. How is your playthrough going? How far in the game are you? Uh, I might... I, I don't know. Ooh, what the heck? Holy crap. So many follows. Thank you so much, folks. Uh, yeah, just let me know how far you are because we are getting... We're not at the end of the game yet. We've still got a fair bit to go still. But I don't know how much I can safely talk about. I've, this is not my first playthrough of the game. I've beaten it three times before, including one time on Hardcore. So I, I don't want to accidentally spoil it for you in the event that this is your first playthrough or anybody doesn't want spoilers. So I'm just warning you right now, uh, this is a very spoilerful stream if you are still earlier in the story than I'm at right now. And potentially even so, although I'm trying not to talk too much about stuff that hasn't happened yet in this playthrough. The sunbeam just failed to rescue you. Okay, that tells me a lot. Uh, it's time for a mustache parade. Nice, Greeny. Let's see. Uh, let me catch up a little bit on chat. Love your game list. Thank you so much, Juliet. Be back. Gotta go thrash stuff for my mental health tonight. No problem. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for stopping in, all of you. You have Link wearing pants in Breath of the Wild? Well, of course. I mean, especially in the volcano area. That was early in the playthrough, uh, the, the clip that was in my welcome video. But uh, these days, I actually played it just a couple of uh, weeks ago, and I'm in the lava area, so you definitely need pants there. Got a raid and run. I'm up later than I should be. No worries, C27. It was really nice having you here. Wonderful to meet you. Hopefully catch you again sometime soon. Thank you so much for entrusting your community to us. For the record, this stream is immensely chill, and I wind down here most nights. Worth the follow. Thank you so much, Chicken Wing. You're way too kind. Way, way too kind. You just built your Cyclops and named it Lollipop. I love it. I haven't come up with a name for mine yet. Mine is... Where is mine? Ah, right over here. Please forgive the paint scheme. I don't tend to paint them so that they look amazing. I paint them so that they are easily visible. So my Cyclops tends to be the inverse of my, um, my, uh, what do you call it? The sea moth and the prawn suit. Why is this so quiet? What the heck? Something's muted. There we go. That's better. So I, I go very bright, flashy colors so that no matter what biome I'm in, I have the best possible chance of being able to see it when I'm panicking. That sounds safe, yes. Were you the one that talked me into going pantless? <laughs> so what's the deal with going pantless in Breath of the Wild? Which, by the way, is another game I'm still actively working on. I haven't really actively played it too much for the last two and a half years. I played it a fair bit in 2020, and then I just kind of stopped for a long while until a couple of weeks ago I picked it up again. And I want to try and finish it sometime before the new game comes out. So we're going to be working on that more over the coming weeks and months. Right now, in this game, I'm trying to figure out what I need to do next. I was planning on spending most of this stream just building up this base. Oh, by the way, um, ad alert. We've got ads starting in about five minutes, it looks like. I will be taking a short break when that occurs so that I can go and move around a little bit. If you need to get up and grab a drink or something, that's a really good time to do it. And I will be running clips when that happens so that if you are forced to watch ads, which, by the way, I greatly appreciate, um, you won't actually be missing anything because I won't be actively playing as long as I notice that they've started. That's a whole different issue. 
more Breath of the Wild, yes. We will be doing more. It's really just about the fact that you can. It's an option, and some of the stuff the guy at the beginning of the game says to you while you aren't wearing pants. Got it. Got it. I'll run around without pants, sure. Okay, that makes as much sense as anything, I suppose. So, this is my first satellite base. I've got a main base that's closer to the surface in the safe shallows, roughly near where my escape pod landed. I tend to build a recharging base down here in the depths. Oh, I know what I need to build. Well, first of all, I need another polyaniline. But I also wanted to build a battery charger, because I've got the energy cell charger, but not the battery charger down here. So what do I need for that? Oh, that's easy. Hell, all I need is copper. Okay. Um, we're gonna need the prawn suit for copper. How do you power a base down here? Right here. We got some nice thermal vents right here. And I've built two thermal generators, which can bind their forces to uh, provide 500 units of power. And of course, uh, you can build other things as well. You could always go the bioreactor route if you wanted to do that. I was originally planning on building a nuclear power plant in here. But so far, at least, the thermal power actually seems to be taking care of all of my needs so far. It's running both moon pools, the water filtration system, all of my gadgetry, with no problem. So I'm not sure that I really need the nuclear power. I might just leave it at that. And if I did run into an issue, it would not be difficult to build another one, two, three, five thermal power generators if I needed to. So power, not a problem. Not a problem at all. No problem, Julie. Thank or Julie. Uh, how do I pronounce your name? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really not always the best with pronunciation, but I appreciate you uh, stopping in and supporting the raid and hanging out for a little bit. It means a lot. Okay, so yeah. So if you get close, you can see really not too much of a problem. So that's basically what the stream has been today, is building this place up. When I started the stream a few hours ago, how long have I been on now? Four hours almost exactly. Four hours ago, this was basically this one big room, and it was empty, and it was only semi-powered. And that was it. Everything else is what I've done today. So we've done the grow beds, we've done most of the foundation pieces. We built the moon pool over here, we built the moon pool up there. And all the stuff that's gone in it, except for the vehicle modification station and the regular modification station, which I just lifted from my surface base and brought down here. Because I'm really not likely to need them until I return there for the Neptune stuff. Which I won't talk about, in case you don't know what that is. So right now, I'm really just waiting on this stuff to finish growing so that I have a source of components that I need. So we've got some creep vine growing, we've got some blood vine growing. I already got this set up with the uh, gel sacks and the mushrooms and whatnot. Ah, uh, we do have ads starting soon. Before that gets to be a problem, I'm going to go start the clips right now and take a three and a half to five minute break. So if you need to grab food or a drink, now's the time and I'll be back in just a few. Gristle is still alive after all this. Oh man, he's got that whole walking through the explosion thing down. Oh, I found my own echo. That's amazing. There is someone up there. Oh my god. Oh, 
shoot. I forgot that melons are not a summer cr or not a spring crop. Which means I can't get any more unless I can recover some. Let's see. Ten four. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Uh... <laughs> um... That's not good. <laughs> we will have a nice new feature in town soon, it's true. Achievement unlocked. It's heading right for us. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Well, you weren't kidding. That is actually a pretty attractive crater. I'm a little suspicious now. Uh, I quick saved, right? So... Got him? <laughs> wow! <laughs> They're not joking at all! Holy crap! <laughs> okay, so yeah, something did screw up. There was a liquid rocket phase that was not actually supposed to get ejected there. <laughs> Other than that, it seems to be a bit of a death trap for poor Jeb, because I just realized I replaced the parachute with this control unit, so he wouldn't have to be here. For <laughs> damage. Serious damage. Whoops. Had you eaten a few less donuts during the mission, you might have cleared that rock, Roger. Hey, I have not eaten one single donut. Excuse me, game. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Even the rebound know any good postal jokes? Oh, you bet I do. Why are postal workers such great comedians? They have a special delivery, huh? Hi. have to leave him here okay I'm back I really need to fix those clips 
the uh, ancestors. That one doesn't really work very well with my current setup. I'm going to have to make a point of recording some more footage of those ones. I appreciate the follow on Twitter, Jessica. Thank you very much for that. Okay, so, uh, oh, let's unmute the game. These are still growing. That's going to take a little while. I'll probably eventually split these up so that I've got a planter for each of the individual ones. I've got plenty of room over here. No reason I have to have them all in one. But for right now, what am I looking for? I'm going to have to consult my data bank and logs for clues to my next step. <clears throat> I actually kind of know what it is already, but just for the sake of the story. So I should warn you folks, since it sounds like a lot of you are unfamiliar with the game at this point and beyond, there may be some spoilers, just so that you're aware if you want to step away for a moment or whatever you need to do or head out to another stream. Let me see, codes and clues. Actually, this should, uh, this should not be anything that you haven't already found. Disease research facility, we are very nearby this. We've already visited. Location, cave system with extensive fossil records, southwest of enforcement platform, live specimen study, synthesis, the, 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 the synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated Kara. Ah, okay. The thermal power facility is where we need to go next. Location inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity. Okay, so that's where we need to go, and... Technically, I could go there right now. I already am prepared. I'm just not as prepared as I would like to be. So we're going to continue working on this polyaniline situation after I get some water. Of all the things to have trouble locating in a game like this. I'm sorry about the flashy lights, guys. There we go. So I'm going to need three deep mushrooms. Oh, I already had a bunch, never mind, okay. Uh, three deep mushrooms and another salt deposit, which I believe I've got on board the sub. Hydrochloric acid, don't need that. And polyaniline, I just need gold. So I don't need that. There we go. Prawn suit thermal reactor. So when I'm operating in intensely hot areas, the heat will actually allow the prone suit to recharge itself. It's a super nice upgrade to have. I always like having it where we're going. So we got that. Hammer, how's it going? It's good to see you. Welcome aboard, Captain. Since I've got it... I could theoretically park it here, but it's actually full power right now. I don't really need to do that. 
And the moon pool will take care of power requirements as well. There we are. Now what else can we do? Solar charger, don't really need that. Seamoth sonar, copper wire and magnetite. I don't really need that one. I don't think we can really use the Seamoth at this depth anyway. I'm not sure it's possible to fortify it enough to go down that deep. But we can always check the modification station. This game is so fun, I've spent a ton of hours in it. Welcome on in, NJ. It's nice to have you here. Yes, this is my fourth time going through the game. I love it. It's really, really amazing. We could always build the Cyclops Depth Module number three. Just in case I wanted to bring the Cyclops down with me. Which I could do, I suppose. Plasteel ingot, kyanite. I've already got the kyanite. Do I have plasteel by any chance? I'm a little short on titanium. Hmm. Only went through it once, but it was about 150 hours? Holy crap! You must have spent an awful lot of time exploring. The game does not have to take anywhere near that long. Not that there's a problem with that. I applaud you. I think it's well worth spending that much time in. I mean, if you took up all the time of all of my playthroughs, I've probably spent about that much time as well. Actually, I can check that. Hang on. Where's Steam? Oh, nope, sorry, I lied. My combined playtime in the PC version of Subnautica is 325 hours. Okay, um... I love the building in it. I ended up using my Cyclops as a stationary base and then built a supplemental topside base. I have a topside base right now. I am working on... Oh, okay. I guess the creep vine just finished. The color change kind of threw me for a second. Uh, we're working on my supplemental undersea base inside the caverns. This is the Lost River area. If you've been through the game before, you probably recognize where I am. Okay, good. So we've got blood vine growing here. We've got creep vine. We've got... What is that called? Creep vine seed clusters. Man, that really is intensely bright. <laughs> we have sea life phasing through the walls of the base. You know, all the usual stuff. Right, I need titanium. So we're going to put the dual grapple arms configuration in place. And I'm going to do my best to try and get up the easy way. Just screwing it up, I might not make it. Oh, 
Mm, nope. I don't think it's happening. Maybe. No. I lost it. Okay. Let's see. I'm sorry about that. I lost the thread of conversation. I explored everything and then spent a lot of time building, too. I found the little lore story nuggets were up my alley. Tried to find all of the sunken ships and read everything. It's so fun, but so intense when you get sucked in. It really is, isn't it? It seems quite pretty with a really cool vibe, yet still survival. Yeah. What always blows me away is when I go to other streams where streamers are playing the game, there's often this sort of perception that the game is a horror game, which is kind of understandable. I know there are a lot of people who do have thaslophobia and, you know, the, uh, I'm probably saying it wrong, but the intense fear of deep waters, which, you know, I, I can understand that. It's hard for me to see the game as a horror, though, because for me, it's one of the most peaceful and chill exploration experiences that I've had in gaming. Come on. Ugh, we did it. Okay, there we go. Oh, and uh, we've got titanium right here. Perfect. The only reason I finished it is because Wonderlands came out, and I knew that would also be a time suck. You know, I still haven't played that. That's on my to-do list. One of these days, I've got to go through that one. I do really like the Borderlands series, although I've barely played three at all. But I absolutely loved Tales from the Borderlands, the first one. I haven't played the new one either. And so, Tiny Tina's Wonderland... Uh, but I, I definitely have to check that out at some point. Just one of those things I haven't gotten to yet, you know? Okay. That is really all I needed right now. described it both as it's not a horror game but it's scary as hell because the ocean is a scary place and it's a super relaxing game until very suddenly it's not <laughs> okay that i i have to give you credit there that is very accurate crispy <laughs> that's maybe the most accurate description of the game i've ever heard The ambiance is really, really creepy, really. You found you also had to have chill music on to soften it. See, I, 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 I find the ambiance very, very soothing. So that's really interesting to me. Uh, what am I looking for? What was I building? Um, hang on just a moment. Clear some of this clutter away. Not that. Not that. Not that. Took me a very long time to realize the ominous music didn't mean something bad was about to happen, but I would still tense up when it came on anyway. Oh, wow, Christian. 
Tis true, music is amazing, but Gord likes the spoopy stuffs even if he says he doesn't. I never said that I don't like it, Greeny. I actually really like horror games. I just find most of them way too stressful to play. But I used to play all the, like, the early Resident Evil games and Silent Hill 2 and Fatal Frame and all that kind of stuff. I do really enjoy horror games. I love horror movies. I eat horror movies like candy. But the games are very stressful, and I play games to de-stress, not to increase my stress level. And that's the only thing. Oh, right. It was the Cyclops. Cyclops depth module we were going for. Depth module Mark III. Three kyanite plasteel ingot. That's right. And the Cyclops depth module Mark II. Okay. Let's... Oh, shit. The Cyclops is sitting right here. If I get rid of the depth module while it's sitting right here, it's probably going to get crushed. Hang on. Anybody happen to remember offhand what the default Cyclops depth is? Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Also, what other modules can we only make in here? Sonar upgrade, computer chip, and three magnetite. Fire suppression system might be good. Two aerogel and crystalline sulfur. Thermal reactor module. That would also be really nice to have, actually. Yeah, that's going to be a problem, though. I'm going to have to get back into the base, make the thing, and get back out before the sub is crushed. Just make sure to save before. That's a good point. I will do that. Uh, you do remember, it is 500? Okay. Okay. If it's 500, we can work around this, then. Actually, you know what? We're not going to work around this. We're going to do it the iffy way. <laughs> We're going to save the game first. I'm going to pop this out. And we're going to see just how fast, fast it gets crushed. Because it's not going to be instantaneous. It's not like a tin can. Crap. Oh, plasteel ingot. Damn it. <laughs> I should have waited. Hurry up. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's not visibly crushed like a tin can, so we're in luck so far at least. I'm not swimming. This is a plus. Seventeen hundred meters. Okay. But if you stage your mod station right there, you have time to take it out, upgrade it, and put it back in. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Now we need to do check our status though. And actually, it looks like absolutely nothing at all happened. I'm not complaining. I am a little surprised. Actually, put an upgrade station in the bridge of the Cyclops behind the door because you're slow. That's fair. I tend to keep like the... Oh, we have new radio messages? Seriously? Seriously? Uh, I keep a fabricator and a radio on board. Oh, it's this. Okay. All right. Um, oh, and I keep plants as well.
Any self-respecting abode needs plants. True. Very true. Even if it's a kilometer under the sea, especially if it's a kilometer under the sea, what else are you going to eat? Oh, you know what? I didn't actually want to come back from the Cyclops just yet. I wanted to see what other upgrades might be useful. I still have to get that battery from Charger built. Oh, oh, right. Over this way. Okay, so... I think we're gonna want that. Same idea as this, uh, the prawn suit. We're going into very, very hot water. Might as well take advantage of it and allow it to charge up the batteries up for us. I believe I've already got a shield generator. I didn't even have to make that one. I've got it gifted to me in one of the, uh, the time capsules. I've found two so far in this playthrough. So yeah, I've got the Cyclops shield generator, so that's really, really good because it's really useful. So that was a very nice thing. Engine efficiency module might be nice too. I think I've got room for three more upgrades. We've already got the thermal... No, we don't. We need the thermal reactor module. Wait, what have we got already? Let me check. I don't want to build something if I've already got it. I do have the engine efficiency module, so I don't need that. I've got the Mark III depth module, so that's good. I think that's the most depth we need to worry about in this game, at least. And I've got the shield generator, so I've got three spots le left. Let's see what I can get. We want the thermal one. Thermal reactor is good. I might want the fire suppression system, though I'm really hoping we won't actually need that. So let's pin that. And the sonar upgrade might be nice too. Okay, so let me go check and see if I've got enough magnetite. That's the only one I'm worried about finding, but I'm sure there is magnetite in these caves as well. Probably not something to worry too much about. Also, oh, it's a good thing I looked right now. Uh, less than a minute until the next ad thing starts, so I apologize about that, but don't worry because I'm catching it right now. You will not actually have to miss anything. I'm just going to run some clips until the ads are done, so if you do have to watch the ads, first of all, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. It does actually help quite a bit these days. And second of all, you won't miss anything, so don't worry too much about it. I'm going to just run some clips and... I'll be back as soon as those are done, so if you need to get up, grab a drink or a snack or whatever, this is a really good time to do it. I'll be back in probably about two minutes or so. Note that if Thatcher is looking for romance, she should look no further than her partner. It must be clear to everyone that Eden here is deeply in love with her. Thatcher bursts out with passion. Eden goes bright red. Get lost, or for a fool you'd have dealt with. Nope. Totally not. Hang on tight, tiny spider. Wait, how am I earning trophies? What the heck? I should already have gotten that. That's one down. Oh, crap. <laughs> He's got so much reach. Holy crap. <laughs> that was the best. The only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. 
You live alone with this droid. He is the personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? Can we go now, please? Oh, crap. Uthgird. You made it mad at me. Oh, <laughs> the hell they really are like little head okay i'm back that in theory should be the last ad break of the evening there might be one more because i rarely end exactly on time i usually typically end about 4 a.m my time which is coming up in about 20 minutes but uh usually 4 a.m tends to turn into 4 30 thereabouts okay so uh actually i keep leaving the sub what's up greenie when do you ever end at 4am hey it's happened in the recent past it occasionally does happen believe it or not Oh, I do have crystalline sulfur. That's so incredibly handy. Okay, before I worry too much about that, I need that battery charger. So that's just a wiring. That's wiring and I need copper. Where did I see copper recently? There was copper up top side, wasn't there? What? You have to say it. Fair enough, Greeny. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, NJ. You call Bolt? No, it, it happened. It did. It seriously did happen. I have ended... Actually, the last couple of weeks, I've been ending much closer to four than normal. Uh, I, I've been fairly tired, and so I've wanted to get to sleep a bit earlier because I've had to get up earlier, too. Now, it hasn't been exactly at 4, and it hasn't been every night. I went a bit late last night, but I have been ending closer to 4 than usual. Just me, I realized I didn't follow before. I appreciate it. Happens when you come in on a raid at times? Yes, it does. You wouldn't believe the number of times that I have suddenly discovered that I've, you know, been hanging out with a streamer for a few days or a few weeks, Occasionally, it may be a few months, and uh, I hadn't actually followed them. It, it, it happens. That's a thing. Hell, I've even seen people, this has never actually happened to me that I'm aware of at least. I've seen people realize that they've been subbed to a streamer for a few months, and they hadn't actually followed. <laughs> so that's a thing that occasionally does happen. Wiring kit. Where are we? There we go. There we are. Copper is the next thing I'm going to need. And I'm pretty sure I don't have that on board the sub. We're going to have to go mine that. Some people do not watch their accounts very closely. That's very true. Happened with you recently. Really, Greeny? I didn't know that. 
I was planning on finishing an adventure, but caught, caught watching this instead. <laughs> you were planning on going to bed. I am very sorry, except that I'm also kind of not sorry, I have to say. I appreciate the fact that you guys got caught up very, very much. Thank you. <laughs> and also, yes, I am actually genuinely sorry as well that you're not getting stuff done that you need to get done. But also still a little bit not too sorry. How we exit that cave and all of a sudden the music just stops dead. Go away. I'm not here for you, buddy. Ah, damn it. And that's the end of our upward trek for now. <sighs> I like to think that I am pretty good with the uh, dual grapple method of the prawn suit. But I'm not the best, obviously. I'm not sorry. This game is addicting and enjoyable, even just watching it. That is true. I love watching my friends and other streamers play this game. Can't deny that. Oh, oh my god, it worked. Holy crap. Okay. Copper. I know there's copper up here somewhere. Oops. Oh, hang on. This looks promising. That's titanium. That's silver. That's a lot of silver, actually. That's pretty good. So much silver. God, all the times earlier in the game when you have to go into the blood kelp to find silver, I would have killed for this much silver. Just look at it all. This is, like, more silver than I've used in the entire game to date so far, I'm sure. Just lying there. Oh, what is that? you. Where are you? Oh. Even more silver. This is where they hide all the silver. Is that silver or is that... that can't, no, that's not copper. I went the right way, didn't I? I'm sure it was the upper caverns here that had some of the copper. I mean, I know, I'm pretty sure there's copper down lower too. Excuse you, sir. Ah. Rude. Really? Again? I have to finish watching Rebels first, or was it Rebels? No, the Clone Wars. I have to finish watching Clone Wars. 
Then I can get on to some of the other stuff. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I'm watching you. Okay, I'm starting to think maybe I was misremembering and that there really genuinely is no copper here. Hmm. It was probably deeper in the Lost River. Oh well. Clone Wars, you can rebel, sure, but this takes place between the two. The last season of Clone Wars, that first half, is a soft premiere of this series. Okay, that's really cool. I do want to get through all of it. It's just that I'm in that awkward early stage of the Clone Wars where it's actually pretty good. But it's not utterly captivating yet, and so I don't really feel a whole lot of pressure that I need to watch it right away. Is the thing. Already? You're kidding me. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, we're gonna go up here. We'll head deeper into the Lost River. I'm sure there's copper there. And fewer juvenile ghosts. Well, actually, I guess technically that's not true. There's only one back there and there's two deeper in. Hiding. I know you're around here somewhere. Ooh. Thank you so much for the follow. I will say this, the animation difference is obvious, but there's also a difference in real-world timing capabilities, but the story still stands. I'm not at all concerned with what it looks like. For me, you know me, Greeny. It is all about the story. The animation, it exists to serve the story. So I'm not gonna fuss too much if maybe it's not the best animation ever created. There must be copper. We've got plenty of titanium. What the hell is that? I don't recognize that. What is that? Weird. Oh, this! I remember this. I haven't seen that in ages. Oh, that sounds familiar. Oh, you are hanging around. Okay. Scanner room doesn't seem like such a bad idea now. Well, I mean, it's not that it seemed like a bad idea. It just didn't seem like an entirely necessary idea. It still doesn't. I'm not saying it wouldn't make things easier.
Hello. Can I help you with something? Welcome aboard, Captain. I do take your point, though. It probably would make finding copper maybe a little bit easier. Really, sir? He thinks I can't dodge him. You know, now that I think about it, though, I do have this terrible feeling that I went down and found the copper. Which does not necessarily mean I have to go down to find copper. do my damnedest to see if I can find some without going back down. I want to get all the... I mean, it's not that I couldn't handle going down, but I just... I'd rather go down and then not have to get back up until I am good and ready. Instead of having to make like 500 trips. You know, I don't know that I necessarily recognize this area of the Lost river, but that looks very much like it's heading out to the surface, actually. I can't tell if we're inside or outside. Huh. Well, that biome has crab squids and what's it? The hunter killers. So I think I'm going to give that a pass for the time being. Oh. Oh, is that? No, damn it, gold. Probably the only time you can really be disappointed to find gold in a video game. Are you near Giant Cove Tree? It's behind you and over the drop, right? Flora changed. My guess is you went up. Yeah, I have been going a little bit up. But the giant cove tree, you mean the one that's deep underground and near the uh, lava area, right? Because that's where my base is built. I always build my secondary base there. So those two markers there, that's the cove where the tree is. Unfortunately, it is kind of looking like maybe I'm going to have to go down to get my copper after all. Here. I got nickel. Not 
Not sure what all is down there, and jumping really makes the water cloudy. Look inside pools, yeah. That was tricky earlier when I was trying to dodge the uh, the um, the ghost leviathan that lives in here. Yeah, I'm not really seeing copper though. You're not a ghost. Plenty of uranite, plenty of gold, plenty of nickel. Not a whole lot of copper in here. And by not a whole lot, I mean so far, absolutely none. It's not the end of the world if I have to go down into the lava area to get it. It's just annoying. I'd rather make the one trip and be done with it. I mean, I suppose I could move the modification station into the Cyclops and then take the Cyclops down. But then I have to constantly clean the leeches off the Cyclops and it's just a whole thing and... We have to go down. I don't think I'll take the Cyclops, though. I'll just go like this. are talking to trees. That's awesome, Greeny. I'll get to it one of these decades. Okay. Uh, let me just stash some stuff first. Keep the power cell. I got food, I got water. Speaking of food and water, I should probably top up. Oh, damn it. Well, that's okay. How's charging going? Fully ch Wow, that was fast. Okay. For the trip down, at least, I won't go to dual grapple mode. We'll just use the one. Uh, 
And I'm gonna have to check this pool as well, because I'm hoping against hope maybe I can find some copper before I have to get down with the hunter-killers. I'm not holding my breath, though. Uranite, and that's about it. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, let's check this one. That looks like gold. That also looks like gold. Yes, it is. Hey, wait. What are you doing on this layer? Ugh. You're not supposed to be here. Although, this is a good opportunity to uh, scan them at least. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Uh, I guess, technically, this is kind of the... Oh, damn it, they're here. It is kind of the edge between the two biomes, isn't it? I can't give them too much crap for being here. That's part of what took me so long, too. You were scanning everything and hoarding. Oh my god, there are so many HKs here. Can you guys not, like, go on vacation or something? God, I really don't want to deal with them. I don't suppose they... No? Okay. This'll do. I knew I had seen it somewhere, and I knew it wasn't that far from my base. I just... I guess I was just kind of wishful thinking that it was up instead of down. <laughs> okay. Bad sound. You can't see me? I'm hidden here. Go away. tell you. Exterminate. Exterminate. Oh my god. And cut that out. 
Wow. <laughs> Execute order 67. Yes, my lord. No, no, not 67. Order 66. Execute order 66. Yay! <laughs> there are many sand pits around Sandrock which contain a variety of fish. Oh my, what? Okay, that's just cruel. What the hell? I can't fight it in here. Oh god, it's... You know what? I'm gaining stamina faster than it's draining health. And in fact, it's restoring my health too, so this is kind of... Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Like I said in chat... Um... This game does kind of suck me in a bit. And it's also true that most games that I play, at least, also kind of suck me in a bit. Okay, we got our copper. We didn't have any close encounters of the hunter-killer kind. just some scary sounds. So that's not too bad. Thank you, Greeny. That's a lot of copper wire. Okay, so we got that, and I think I stashed away the stuff I was saving for the construction. I need that. And I need that. All that just so I can freaking charge some batteries. Okay. I don't even have batteries that need charging at the moment. All my spare batteries are at my surface base. Actually, you know what? Maybe that's what we'll do next. They're not really doing me any good out there, are they? That's fine. That'll buff out. It's not a problem. Oh. Oh, nope, nope. I want it out. It apparently did get a bit nicked up and banged around, so probably fixing it's not the worst idea.
So we're just going to pop back to my base in the safe shallows. And I'm going to grab, at a minimum, I'm going to grab the batteries. I'm going to maybe poke around a little bit and see if there's anything else I need to bring with me too. Oh, here's our buddy again. That'll buff out too. That's fine. Hello, how are you doing today? Now we do kind of want to avoid his larger friend out front, so we're going to go this way. Oh, it's daytime. Can't remember the last time I saw that. Oh, okay, we would like to avoid him too. I hate those guys. Excuse me? Hello? What the heck was that? So, what have we got going on here that I need? I need the batteries. Maybe bring those. I had hydrochloric acid already made up. Bring a couple of cave sulfur just in case, though I'm not sure what I'm going to need it for. And just a few extra titanium. Maybe leave a little bit of the... No, I'll bring the copper. I guess that's about it. I guess there's not really all that much I needed here, at least for the moment. Later, we'll need stuff here again, but for now, 
Like, we're probably pretty good. And we are getting awfully close to 4.30 in the morning. So we might as well continue tradition and save while we're at the surface base. We'll have to go back down again next time we play. I am thinking, uh, in light of the conversation we had before where when I'm deeply into a game, and I mean, Subnautica is all about being deep, um, I might play Subnautica again tomorrow. I'll have to see. Usually it would be Retro Sunday... We were doing Dark Side Detective last week, and that was ridiculously fun. I would kind of like to continue that one, too. We might do Dark Side Detective tomorrow, but if we don't, we will do Subnautica. And I think there's probably a really good chance that we're going to do Subnautica either way on Monday. Because it is Maker Monday, and Subnautica... Well, we do an awful lot of making in Subnautica, so it fits. So I think that's what we'll do. We might do Subnautica tomorrow. If not, it'll be Dark Side Detective. And either way, almost certainly going to be Subnautica on Monday. So I think that's where we're going to wrap up for this evening. So thank you, everybody, so much for being here tonight. It really means a lot. Appreciate all the raids and all the new friends. I really, really appreciate that you guys could have spent your time just about anywhere on the internet doing anything, and for whatever reason, you decided that it was a good use of your time to spend it here, so that means a lot to me. Thank you. Time for you to sleep, too? Yeah, yeah. So I think we're going to go and see if we can find someone awesome to raid this evening. Let me see what we've got going on on my list of good people to follow. Um, let me see if anybody is playing Subnautica this evening, actually. If not, I've been talking for a few days now that we need to open up our friends list, maybe meet some new cool people. Maybe that's what we'll do today. We did raid Lunity last night, and she's already a friend we know, but we don't know her all that well in the grand scheme of things. We met her only recently. Okay. Nobody that I know is playing Subnautica. I'm going to check the Twitch directory and see if we can find somebody who looks like they might be a good fit for our community. Thanks for letting me ramble at you about this game. It's so great. It really is great. Thank you, NJ, for being here. I really appreciate that. Okay, let me see. There are a number of people on tonight playing Subnautica. Hmm. Yeah, nobody that I know. Otherwise, I'd be following them, so that's not really a surprise. Let me see. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Somebody's playing Subnautica under the retro tag. I know it came out in early access, but man, it wasn't even 10 years ago. It's not that old. <laughs> and its full release was nowhere near 10 years ago. I'm not objecting to that, by the way. I've played questionable retro games myself. Hell, I played Dark Side Detective last week under the retro tag because it's retro-styled. So, <laughs> I just think it's amusing. Uh, who are we going to go with? Uh, one of these people looks like they're under the Subnautica tag, but they're actually playing Subnautica below zero, maybe? Except that that looks like one of the Subnautica biomes. Hmm. See, this is one of the reasons I so rarely raid people I don't know. I don't know if their community is going to be a good fit. And also, how do you choose when you don't actually know them? It's a problem. 
Taiju, it has been a while. How are you doing? It's good to see you again. We're actually just wrapping up this evening, unfortunately, but I'll be back tomorrow night. Um, I'm trying to pick a raid target, and I'm breaking with tradition. I'm going with somebody that we don't know already. I'm thinking maybe we choose from the lower end of the viewer spectrum. There's a few channels that have a number of viewers up in the top two rows, mostly the top one row. Uh, but then there's quite a number of people who really only have the one viewer at the moment. So I'm going to look here. I kind of wouldn't mind raiding somebody that's earlier in the game. So I'm looking at someone right now. It looks like they're exploring the blood grass and they're using the, um, not the sea moth, the sea glide. So that probably indicates that they're newer, or at least they're earlier in a playthrough, if not new. Let me just load up their channel a little bit. Okay, I've got an ad. That's not really all that surprising. Okay, ad is done. Oh, they're using a graph trap. I, you know what? I, I think I might have built a graph trap once in my first playthrough. That's just a thing that I never use. I never use graph traps for whatever reason. All right, I think we're going to go here. We'll meet a new friend. We'll meet a new friend. We'll see this person, Lon Lon250. I'm all right already. I know you always stream around 4 or 5 a.m. for me, so it's mostly kind of hard to watch you, but how are you doing? I appreciate that you make the effort, Taichu. It means a lot. I'm doing good. Um, it's been a really good night, really chill night, and uh, it's hard to go wrong when you're playing Subnautica, so I appreciate that. Um, yeah, no, it's been it's been a nice night. It's not quite as bitterly cold tonight as it has been the last few days. I hope all is well with you. I hope you've had a good weekend so far. Do you have any plans for the upcoming part of the weekend? I think we'll go with this person. We'll go with Lon Lon250. Let me get you their link. That's not bot. That's me. They know my link. They're here. <sighs> Here, I'll manually type it for you. I wish I knew what makes the bot do that. It doesn't do it all the time. It's really bizarre. <laughs> uh, okay, anyway, there you go. That's the link, but I'm going to raid over anyway. So if you guys wouldn't mind coming along with the raid, I would really appreciate that. It's always good to make a good showing. So let's go meet this person, see how they're doing, see how uh, Subnautica is treating them. It looks like they've got a pretty good handle on the basics. But, you know, uh, I, I don't really have a good sense for where they are in the story yet, except if they're still using the uh, thing a lot. It looks like they don't really have a base built yet. They've got the grav trap set up. They're using the sea glide and they're still hovering around where the uh, the the escape pod is landed. So they're probably still very near the beginning of their playthrough. So I think we're going to go with that. So if you guys could come along, that'd be great. Maybe go to my girlfriend's and go to the movies, but that's it. And you've been online for five hours. That's a lot to stream this long. That's about typical for me, honestly. I mean, it, it's it's a thing. It's a thing where uh, the longer you stream, the more used to it you get. You build up the vocal stamina. You build up the focus and all that kind of stuff. It's like anything. You get better at it the more you do it, right? When I first started streaming, I, I actually have some VODs from the first few months that I was a streamer. They're on my YouTube. And the most I could do in those days was maybe two hours. When I first started, I could do half an hour to an hour at most. I just, my voice would get rough after that. So you, you just keep doing it and you build up stamina for it 
These days, I mean, a few years ago, I accidentally streamed for 14 hours. I didn't mean to. I did it accidentally. And even to this day, I still regularly stream. You know, once a month, I'll do a long stream, which will be either 8 hours or 12 hours. Sometimes longer. Sometimes 13 or 14. When you stream, it's mostly an hour or two. Yeah, yeah. But keep at it, and you'll just get better at it. Fluids are important for talking. That's true. How's it going, B. Coffered? We're about to end. We're just going to go and raid somebody we've never met before. They're also playing Subnautica. So, but it's uh, good to see you, and I hope you'll come along with the raid. I will be back on tomorrow. Uh, like I was saying earlier, we might play Dark Side Detective tomorrow, but if we don't, I will play more Subnautica, and we're pretty much certainly going to play Subnautica again on Monday, whether or not we do tomorrow. So, yeah, let's get this started, I think. Uh, so, folks, I will get you the raid call that we use here. Here at the Library of Lore. You once streamed 12 hours on your YouTube, but that was not an accident. Yeah, I don't know how I did it accidentally. That was a thing. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the hard emote and the wave emote of the channel if you're a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own or maybe from another streamer, if Twitch themselves have other emotes that, you've not, uh, that you'd like to use, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's go visit this Lon Lon 250s person, uh, channel and see how they're doing. Uh, get to know them a little bit, maybe make a new friend, and uh, see how their Subnautica adventure is going. It looks like they're starting to go a little bit deeper into the bloodgrass, which is kind of fun. I recognize the area that they're in. So I'll see you over there in a few minutes, and hopefully I'll see you back here tomorrow night as well. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world, and I'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now. Whoops. You have traveled a long way only to die care by careless... Or... Maybe they have their channel set to reject rating. So I guess we're not going to visit them. Okay. Maybe we'll try the whole rating somebody we don't know thing tomorrow. I think I'll try to find somebody from our usual list tonight. <laughs> hey, I think I deserve credit for at least trying. <laughs> we'll get there. So, from those people that I know, Laxative Legacy is playing some Horizon Forbidden West tonight. <laughs> Pallet Box is playing Embers Adrift. Kismet is playing Valheim. Uh, that's, that's so funny. I can't believe it. I picked one person who just doesn't allow rating. Okay, that's... All right. Lunity is doing Just Chatting, or at least she's streaming under the Just Chatting ca uh, category. But she's actually building a model kit, so speaking of Maker Monday, it's not Monday, but she's doing some Maker stuff. Tea with Mandy. Oh, what the heck? Okay, uh, Mandy's not playing what I expected her to play. Mandy is on tonight. She's playing something called Mech Arena Robot Showdown, which frankly sounds amazing. Now, it might be a sponsored stream, actually, because she's got the hashtag ad thing in her stream title, but... I love mech games. I, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but in my clips, I do have clips from Battletech. And I think Mech Warrior 5 may have just released some new DLC that I need to pick up at some point because I love that game too. I don't know if I have clips from it, so that's another good reason to get back into that one too. Uh, so Mandy's playing a mech game called Mech Arena Robot Showdown. Simcopter is still playing Goldeneye. And that looks like that's about it. So if any of that sounds good to you folks, just let me know in chat and I'll uh, take that under advisement. I can't guarantee you that it will dictate where we go, but it will certainly influence where we go. Uh, you've got OMG Chad. Oh, I remember Chad from the uh, Diamond Club who is sleeping. Now, when you say that sounds fun, are you talking about the Mech Arena game? Because honestly, I'm pretty tempted and we love Mandy here. 
Okay, why don't we do that then? I'm gonna, um, we're gonna go with Mandy. The, yes, we're gonna do that. Oh, geez, this looks amazing. They look like knockoff locust mechs. Which probably doesn't mean much to you guys unless you're familiar with Battletech and the Mech Warrior universe, but man. Okay, we have to go with this. This looks awesome. Okay, uh, here, let me just snooze the upcoming ad. I'll get you Mandy's link. Battletech is so good to be covered. I really love that game a lot. We're going to go raid T with Mandy. There we go. Now it does the link right. And I will get you the raid call again. I know you guys probably remember it because it was still on the screen. But uh, library raid, you've been bookmarked. Copy the raid message. Arrange whatever modes you want to use the way you want them to appear. All good in my book. Let's get over to Mandy's channel, see how this game is going, because it looks really fun. It's multiplayer, so maybe not my idea of a great game, but uh, you know, maybe some of you guys would like it, and I do love the way it looks. So I'll see you over in Mandy's channel. Sorry for the abortive raid earlier. Uh, have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world again, and I'll catch you again soon. Bye for now. Whoops. You have traveled a long way only to die care by carelessly stepping to your death. What a clod. Wow. I still say, though, that the Dark Souls games and Elden Ring and all them, this is the difficulty that they aspire to reach but haven't yet. Wha why, you bastards? Get ready, here comes another one. Take him down. Our ammo's replenished. Go on, dump it into the enemy. Nice. I'm bigger than him. I'm no bully. Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. That'll be a nickel. What? You idiot. This isn't very refreshing. I guess you forgot about our bottomless mug policy. Thank you. Hey. This is not the arrangement 